Hi, Steve Chef here of Bella Demora, Keller Williams, and on this beautiful and windy day in Shelby Park in Louisville, Kentucky, I'm staying outside 521 East St. Catherine, and I've got a treat for you. We're going to walk through this property, meet the owners, and they're going to tell you what awesome plans they have in store for this incredible renovation. Come take a look. So I am with Kate and Doug, and they are the fantastic owners of this wonderful property, and if, if you don't mind, let's, let's talk about it. What do you guys have going on here? All right. We love talking about it. <laughs> <laughs> well, you saw the doorway when you come in, right. and then you'll enter this front room, which could be a second bedroom, a flex room, study, anything like that. It's going to have nine foot doors, two nine foot doors that slide out of the way. Okay, so and you guys take a look up. Scroll your cameras or use your VR headset. Take a look up. Set, uh, you can see how tall these doors yeah. are going to be. And while you're up there, you can notice that we've got going to have a, a built-in plant shelf with lighting coming out from it above the closets. Oh, yeah, right there. right awesome. here, we've got a large walk-in closet with a pocket door. Inside that closet is the original chimney and fireplace. And so that pocket door can be slid out of the way, and that little area can be used as a study area or as a closet. And then the rest of the room has got great natural light from the front. Excellent. With the wide opening into the gallery, into the hallway, uh, the room looks and feels and acts so much bigger than what it is. Right. Uh, with the double opening and them sliding out of the way, the doors won't enter into the hallway or otherwise they'll be on those barn door tracks. That's actually Two nine foot doors. You guys have really thought about this because in your typical shotgun house, you're walking through the first bedroom here. So right. you've, you've allowed for the hallways. So that's something very unique. Let's take a look into the next room. Oh, you can one more thing. Oh, please, yeah. If you notice, this is the original chimney that came off of the fireplace. We're actually going to move it around to the master bedroom where we're going next, and it'll be just ornamental on the back side of the chimney and fireplace. Cast iron mantle. Awesome. Yeah. Awesome. awesome. Fantastic. And so where are we headed to next? Master bedroom, right down the gallery master hall. Bedroom. Let's go take a look. Now we're in what we like to call the gallery hall. We know that in a lot of these little shotguns, you've got a partition space off to create privacy, but we also wanted this space to be a feature and not wasted space. And so you can see all the way from the front door, along the hall, into the back, where a lot of natural light's going to come in, even once there are walls. <laughs> <laughs> um, we've got a historic side door here that will be painted. We're leaving the large windows on the side and done. Oh, these nine-foot doors, we were, <laughs> literally <laughs> fell in our lap. <laughs> But one is going to be hinged here for access into the master bedroom, and these are the. There are two others exactly like this. They're going to be paired uh, going into the front flex room as well. At the same time, though, we still got the original transoms and doorways that uh, divide and define parts of the gallery hall. Also, original trim, original transoms. While allowing for ventilation and light to travel along the high walls. Brilliant. How about we go to the master? All right. Nice. One of the biggest drawbacks of a lot of these shotguns is even once bedrooms are created, they're usually small and cramped, and you really hardly ever have what's a real master bedroom. This bedroom, even once we've taken out space for the hall, is approximately 17 foot by 12 foot. We've got a door there that goes directly into the bathroom, door to the hall, a door on the other end that goes into a large walk-in closet, and here's the original back side of the fireplace and chimney where we'll be putting that historic um, oh, mantle. Okay. And Doug? Doorman? Door oh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> what special doors? tricks do we have, Doug? <laughs> Sourced here locally. There, there is not going to be a new door going in the entire house. They're all either original from this house or other historic doors that we sell sourced here uh, here locally but this one is perfect uh, it was just it spoke to us but as soon as we saw it because we've got a, a door going into into the uh bathroom as well as into the the closet so you can almost pick your pick because this door would work on either either one of them but here it is business as usual business on the front but look here on the back party on the back <laughs> <laughs> you know, you just don't find these things anywhere. Right. But it, 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 it Except the Louisville. Except, so, except, uh -huh. <laughs> except here. But <laughs> the, the, the thing is, uh, most, you know, we've seen so many renovations otherwise. And all too often, the there's closet space taken out of the bedroom so that you, you end up with compromising both the closet as well as the bedroom space. And here we were able to facilitate that without taking space out of the bedroom itself. 
and still getting gun cells direct access into the master bath. So we'll have a re reinforced TV wall here, and on the other side, you picture the bed coming out from that wall, we will put side windows with a pebbly glass for privacy oh, to allow that. some light, some but you've still got with this nine foot door, plenty of light coming in from the hallway as well. So lots of light. Yeah, and oh. this room will have a ceiling fan to help with circulation with the 11 foot ceilings. Perfect, perfect. So everyone will have ceilings. light while still maintaining privacy. Excellent, excellent. Let's see what else is in store for us. All right, let's go on through to the bathroom. Okay, fantastic. On this side of the master bathroom is the full size shower. It's uh, it's every bit of, you know, I, I think we'll see end up with a seat on this as well. Uh, shower head on, and valve over on this side, but extremely spacious. Again, uh, we've seen so many renovations where the compromise is just to shoehorn in something. But this is going to be a feature of, of, the, of the house as well as just the bathroom itself. The other features, Kate? Right here, no arguing about the sink. We're going to have a his and hers two sink vanity. Or his and his. Whoever you have hers. Hers and hers. There's a nurse. <laughs> <There's a> nurse. <laughs> <laughs> and for Steve standing, we're gonna have a full linen closet with nice deep shelving. And if you look up, you can see that here we're bringing the ceiling down off that eleven foot ceiling, and that's to create over this whole area a huge storage space nice. to keep things like boxes, your Christmas tree stand, anything you like, and it'll have a couple of access. This will be a wall here, but on the other side of this wall, accessed from the hall, is your is room for a stackable washer and dryer, and that closet will have a door on it. Perfect. There'll be access into the rest of the attic as well, and with foam insulation going on the deck of the roof, that entire attic space will be insulated. So it's, it'll not only be accessible for storage and alike, it'll be basically conditioned space as well because it will be insulated. Right. And similarly, we have worked in the cellar for not only mold remediation and termite treatment, but also um, dampness, so that that cellar space is also usable space as well. So this is this is definitely going to be ready for someone who wants that old house charm, but not the old house problems. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Uh, excellent. excellent. Hey, we Where just are we going? Got a floor oh, drain in the shower today. Yep. And also hey, a, new, <laughs> a new roof too. Talking and about new roof. No, yes. Yeah. There you go. New roof. <laughs> Brand new roof. HVAC system, all new electric, plumbing, <laughs> everything new. Excellent, excellent, yeah. fantastic. What um, do we have? We've, we've got, got one last large room. We're going to go back out into the gallery hall, and you'll see it opens up. This is still under construction. We're rebuilding the back of the house that was an addition, and that's where you can live and really enjoy the space. Awesome. Let's go take a look. So what you're looking at now is still very much a work in progress. This wall will be entirely gone. Picture this wall not here. <laughs> and you can see we've got Jamie back there building our back wall. We can wave at Jamie. Hey, Jamie. Hey, Jamie. <laughs> <laughs> the historic chimney is going to be left in the center of this room to define spaces. So we have an eating dining zone. We'll have a 12 foot long wall based kitchen, a large area for sofa. And here we'll have some built in pantry and closet space um, while still gaining the natural light. We've got Doug's door and window collection. And Doug, you want to talk about these old windows? <laughs> these, <laughs> these old windows, uh, or act, I guess it's one of the few things not from uh, from Louisville, because these are brought up from Nashville, from the salvage project that I had there. But they're going to be, they're still single light uh, pane windows that are going to be the upper level clear story windows around the back room here. Mm -hmm. So the, the original room that uh, this is replacing had about a seven foot tall, very claustrophobic uh, shed addition that was the kitchen for the original house. Oh, wow. And uh, this is gonna be night and day difference, literally. And part of that night and day difference is the daylighting that we're trying from these windows. That's right. Well, how many, also, how many windows do we have? One, two, three, five. four, five total. Yep, okay. along with glass in the, in the back door itself as well. Okay. This is, and well, there's still added uh, daylight from this side window also because it's part of the window. One of my favorite views of the house actually is back down the gallery hall to the front door because mm. uh, it's, oh, it's yeah. defined yeah. piece by piece, piece, room by room still, even though it's just one continuous hall in a functional, yeah. functional way. 
And these up high windows will open in, thus allowing ventilation, some passive cooling. And so between the heavy insulation that will be installed and the design of it, your heating and cooling bills on this house should be very small. Yeah, that's excellent. Fantastic. Wonderful. What else? Anything else before we go? This area here is is will be a flex space for dining table. Uh, I think one of the things we're building into this big room is flexibility. Mm -hmm. uh, there are certain elements that are going to be fixed. The the kitchen itself, and there's an area over at this back wall that is basically set up as a furniture wall. And this area right here, we're going to do a built-in, uh, actually built out from the wall, uh, pantry closet as well. Uh, so there are fixed elements, but the idea is to main, maintain a lot of flexibility for who's, whoever's living here to adapt it to their lifestyles. Excellent, excellent, fantastic. I know you guys have a floor plan, you've got designs. Yep, oh, yep. Yeah. So if you're interested in seeing any of that, uh, how about you give Katie a call, shoot her a text, What's the best number to read? She's right behind you. I don't you. know where I'm waiting. Spin around. <laughs> here, come over here. Come okay. over here. What's the best way for folks to get in touch with you to get all the information on this home? Uh, cell phone, 502 938 5430. Call, text, whatever is easier. Okay, fantastic. And we will continue to update you on the progress. So come back and take a visit, subscribe to this, and uh, make us one of your favorites. And come see the house. Now's the time. Let's make it happen, okay? I'm Steve Schaff with Bella DeMora, with Katie Messenger, Kate and Doug. Thanks for watching.